evening hey. and welcome to a special evening session of the Cow Launcher Talks about downloadable content for last week on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 exclusively on the NoobTube Army channel. Uh, last week there wasn't really any games too worthwhile to mention. There were a few releases for the Xbox 360 Arcade. Um, we got Gel Set Match and Blazing Birds. And for the PlayStation Network, we get nothing except for a couple of PlayStation 1 games that you can play on your PSP or PS3. And they are um, Rainbow Six and Ford Racing, each $6. The big rumor is next week on Thursday, we should be getting Resident Evil Director's Cut for $9.99. And uh, that's kind of cool. That is part of the Capcom commitment to bring a bunch of downloadable games for the PSP. And hopefully we'll see some more PS1 games here soon. And of course, this being the week before E3, uh, there's going to be lots and lots of news coming out, especially next week. But this week, there should be some pretty cool previews. Uh, one of the pictures I got excited about was Joystick posted a uh, bunch of Final Fantasy 13 banners hanging from buildings by the uh, convention center in downtown L.A. So that's kind of exciting. But anyway, back to downloadable content. There were a bunch of demos that came out. Um... Namely, the Red Faction Guerrilla, I believe, multiplayer demo is out now, as well as Tiger Woods 10 and X Blades. I don't think there was anything else really. Also, the Halo map pack, not the uh, the Halo Wars map pack, is now out. So that's kind of cool. Um, but on the PlayStation Network front, I think the only big news this week is the Infamous demo. So uh, I haven't had a chance to try that out. But anybody who I've talked to has tried it has really liked it. And I believe Infamous does come out this week, and that is pretty cool. Uh, let's go to this episode's Guess the Game. Once again, that is from a game you can download straight to your Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. If you know the answer, post it below just for funsies. I'll let you know if you're right. And uh, that's about it. Moving on, I... Um, big rumor that was going on at GDC, which took place back in March, the Game Developers Conference, is that Sony is kind of really trying to push their PSP to be a music downloader, or download music to it, and also for game rental. I think that's kind of interesting. If there's a game out there like, say, God of War, where you don't want to pay 20 bucks for it, which, well, I don't know, that's a bad example, since that's probably a must-have for the PSP. But anyway, uh, they're shopping around ideas and thoughts on how to make it a rental. Um, machine. So you can rent games, don't know any details, they'll probably announce some stuff at E3, so that's kind of cool. Also, they're, uh, I guess, trying to advertise more towards kids now. They're having kids marketing campaigns. I don't know, not really much of a kid system, but good for them. Good for you, Sony. So that's it. I don't have really much news to talk about this week. Hopefully next week there'll be a whole lot more. But I do want to show you a couple of videos. The first video this week, I'm going to be talking about Xbox Live Arcade gel set match here it is all right guys here it is gel set match from gastronaut studios these are the same guys that did small arms for the 360 so it's got some interesting character designs it's got some charm to it uh, first thing i noticed was that this is uh everything seems to move pretty fluidly and it's got a lot of polish for an Xbox Live Arcade title I've never heard of. Basically what this is, is a puzzle game. Now, there's three different parts in this game. There's an, like an action mode, which I'm playing right here, and there's multiplayer battle modes, and there's just puzzle mode. And what you have to do is you pick up these different colored gels, blocks, and you can pick them up, you can drop them, you can stand on them, and you could slide them around. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta get four in a row or square to make them disappear. And then you can push uh, one, multiple blocks, whatever, and right here you got this truck that's kind of following you, so you have uh, X amount of time to really clear the stage. This being the very first level, obviously it's pretty darn easy. And there's a way to speed things up a little bit right here. And you gotta be careful, you gotta see what's on screen, and you can't really leave any blocks behind because you have like a health meter, and the lower left hand corner is the cogs right there, and all the cogs disappear, it is game over. So I made those four red blocks disappear, I could have added one red block on the bottom there. So there you have it, the game is definitely bubbling with some charm. For ten bucks, it's pretty cool, especially if you have kids who like this kind of thing. Didn't try the multiplayer, so I'm not really sure what that's all about, but that definitely has promise. 
So the game has character. Also, yeah, when you slide the blocks, you can they kind of melt, and you can pick up melting blocks and slide them into further blocks for change. So that's kind of interesting. The second game I want to talk about is uh, The Blazing Birds. $400.5 game started out originally as an XNA pro project and is now available on Xbox Live Arcade with full achievements. Let's take a look at that. All right, XNA Game Studio, Dream Build and Play. This is the program for, I believe, for 100 bucks. Gets you on your feet, become a programmer, get some games going, and make some money. So here is Blazing Birds. It is the first, I believe, robot badminton game for the Xbox 360. You can pick different countries, so there's some themes to it. Uh, it's got a pretty in-depth tutorial to get you going. And believe it or not, there's some, you know, a few button presses you need to know to make good badminton uh, decisions to hit the shuttlecock very well. And it's really basic. It is a $5 game. You have special moves. There's a little floating orb in the middle above the net. If you hit that with your shuttlecock, you get different power-ups. So you get your shuttlecock doing some crazy moves to really confuse your opponent. Uh, other than that, I guess everything moves fluid. The robots are very designed weirdly. And the sounds are kind of weird. And... I can't really go much more into it. Not really much of a sports guy, even though this isn't too much of a sports type of game. I couldn't get into it. It is five bucks, though. Definitely give the demo shot if you like this sort of thing. It's kind of like Pong, I guess, but weirder. Very weird. Since it is Memorial Day weekend, Major Nelson went ahead and announced yeah. that there'll be three games for the Xbox Live Arcade. Usually he announces on Monday. We got it uh, this weekend, over the weekend. One will be Boggle for the Hasbro Family Game Night. The other is Square Enix's puzzle game, Yasumin Live, I believe it is. And the other is the Wallace and Gromit, uh, which looks fairly interesting. So I'll be talking about that on my video next week. Also, please check this link up there. I'm going to post it right around there. Uh, an interview with me from, on the NoobTube UGC forums for the Turbo Jam interview. Check that out. 15 minute interview, I'm a little nervous, but you can find out a little more insight about the cow launcher. Uh, kind of a cool little uh, video uh, interview series that they do. They just pick members of the NoobTube community. But anyway, check that out. Uh, that's in the corner up there. And uh, that's pretty much it. Follow me on Twitter at uh, twitter.com slash cowlauncher. Also, please subscribe to my videos on the Cow Launcher X uh, <laughs> channel where I will be talking about Nintendo downloads and some other stuff here and there. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys this week. We will see you on Friday, hopefully, with a Wii and a Nintendo DSiWare video. Yow. Hey guys, it's Cal Launcher. Today is March 23rd. March, fuck. Hey guys, it's Cal Launcher. Today is March 23rd, 2009. Why do I keep saying March? What the hell?